Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services, and today under the Wilkins Agwire Risk Management Series, we're going to be going over one by two ratio spreads. So before we get going here, it's important to note that this is for example purposes only. I'm not telling you to go out and do this. It's something you should consider adding to your risk marketing strategy, but it's really something only that the conversation with your marketing advisor can help you determine. And if you don't have a marketing advisor, pick up the phone, give us a call. Happy to spend some time with you, learn more about your operation and see if one by two ratio spreads are something that will work for you and your operation. So um, getting going and planning, spring's here. As you noticed, I shed my, uh, my winter coat with the hair and the beard from the last time I saw you. So time to start at least thinking about doing some gray marketing if you haven't ramped it up yet. And one by two ratio spreads, if you haven't sold much or need to do something, uh, definitely something to consider adding to your marketing strategy. So for one by two, what does that mean? The one is buying one put and the two is selling two calls. So what's the purpose of that? Well, you buy the put to protect to the downside and then you sell the calls to help pay for the puts. And the goal here is to get all that done for even money so you're not spending premium. Uh, the only cost really you have associated with it is the commissions and fees that come along with the trade. So um, with that said, we're gonna go over a quick example here. So let's say that uh, come time to do some marketing, um, you haven't gotten much done yet, you're comfortable with the idea of margin and meeting margin calls um, because this is a marginable position and that's very important that you are comfortable with that aspect. If you're not, then this you know, you can learn more about this strategy and see if it's something you eventually become comfortable with, but it's something you definitely have to be comfortable with if you want to do a strategy like this. So you are comfortable with margin in this example, and uh, you want to go ahead and do a one by two ratio spread because you don't want to spend a whole lot of premium on options right now, and you're just looking to do a small amount of your production. So let's say for example purposes, let's say right now an at the money put is at 420. So we've got a 420 put here. And then we want to sell a couple of out of the money calls and it's got to be a comfortable where you're comfortable getting a overall price for your grain should the market trade higher so wherever you sell these calls you really have to be comfortable uh, with that level actually getting for your cash grain when it comes time to sell it because if we're, when we're above it uh, at expiration like we'll show later on in this example that will actually be what you get for your grain so you really have to be comfortable with where you sell these calls. So let's say up here at 470, you sell a couple of calls. So with this example here, I'm gonna draw a little reminder here for you. Let's draw one corn on the cob there and two here to remind you what we've got going on here. So this is, you got 5,000 bushels of protection to the downside and then you've got 10,000 um, potential capped at 470 to the upside here should we trade higher. So the cost associated with this in premium is zero. As noted, the goal of this is to get it done for even money, uh, but then you always do have to include your commissions and fees as that is a cost of doing business in the futures market. So we got protection below 470 for 5,000 bushels we're capped above 470 on 10,000 bushels here. So 420 protection of the downside, 470 of the upside. So let's say harvest comes around, we had a great growing season uh, and futures end up down at 350 at option expiration. So we're down here at 350 at option expiration. The difference between these two here is 70 cents. So as we've noted in the past with some option videos that we've done, if there's a premium associated with what it costs to get into the, the marketing strategy, you have to subtract that from this gain here. Well, as noted, the cost was zero than this other than the commissions and fees, so you get to keep the whole 70 cent difference here. 
minus your commissions and fees. So that's why a lot of producers will like doing this on a small amount of their production is due to the fact that there's no outlaying cost and they actually get to keep the difference between these two right here, which is that 70 cents. So what about the reverse? What if the reverse happens and we didn't have a great growing season? There were some weather issues and we're up here at five bucks after uh, at option expiration. So the difference between $5 and 470 is 30 cents. So you got a 30 cent difference between these two, but you've got to remember we sold two. So you got to multiply that by two and your futures account will show a loss of 60 cents. But you also do have to remember this 470 as noted was a level where you were comfortable uh, selling your cash corn for. So you're getting $5 in the cash market for your corn because you just did the option market. You didn't have to do an HDA. You didn't sell futures, so you were still allowed to participate to the upside, uh, but you did cap your upside by selling these 470 calls. So uh, we did two of them. So you take the $5 minus 30 cents, and that's 470 is what you get for these two cash grains. And the only reason I did the 60 here is because you got two contracts and that's what your future account would show for a loss, but you would be getting 470 for the grain. So um, after going through the example, again, is it important to note that you have to be comfortable with margin uh, and margin calls potentially to put on a position like this. The last thing you want to do is be upset when the market's trading higher um, and you've got to send a, a margin call due to the fact that you sold these 470. So it's something you got to be comfortable with. And as noted, through multiple times throughout when I was going through this example, I mentioned a small amount of your production. Uh, a lot of the producers I work with when they do this, they do it on a very small amount of their overall production because you don't want to get oversold. Uh, it's definitely not something you want to do. And when you're selling two calls up here, you got to keep that in mind with your uh, overall marketing strategy as well because you don't want to be oversold and you don't want to be mad when the market's going higher because you're having to meet margin calls. So it's got to be something you're comfortable with. Um, there are some things you can do throughout the middle of the trade, such as rolling options up, rolling options down to try and uh, ease some of the margin calls or margin situation, but we've got to do black and white examples here. So can't get into that. If you want to talk further about that, then just give us a call and we'd be happy to go through it with you. But that's all we've got for today. So if you've got any questions, let us know. And again, this is for example purposes only. Um, it's something you should consider adding to your marketing strategies, but really only conversation with your marketing advisor can help you determine that. So thanks. Have a great day. and We'll see you next time. When investing in the purchasing of options, you may lose all of the money you invested. When selling options, you may lose more than the funds you invested. Strategies using combinations of positions, such as spread and straddle positions, may be as risky as taking a simple long or short position. The following demonstration is for educational purposes only. The hypothetical example presented does not demonstrate that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those shown. In fact, there are frequently sharp differences between hypothetical performance results and the actual results subsequently achieved by any particular trading program. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels trading broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Trading, its principles, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investment Investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielstrading.com. Daniels Trading is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Trading does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.